We're going to continue our look at the new season with our new TV panel tonight. Will Lock Jr. and Mike Dunn join us now. They're not professionals, just big TV fans. Guys, we've seen all the promos and the previews for the new shows. What looks best to you? Mike, we'll start with you. I'm really looking forward to Vegas, uh, CBS show. Uh, so a little plug there. It, it looks like it's terrific. It should be fun. Uh, it's based on uh, a true story. Uh, Dennis Quaid making his second return to TV. He was in the uh, show that Dennis Christopher, it was a movie, Will? Uh, <laughs> it was about biking and, and it's breaking and, away. Yeah, oh, breaking there you away. Go. Thank yeah, you. breaking away. I knew that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> but it looks like a terrific show, and, and yeah. it, it has a formula which is perfect for the CBS audience. So I think good things will happen on that show, and it's got a terrific lead in NCIS. Yes. You'll find out what happened to Ducky, and of course yes. I, NCIS LA also. So you've got three hours of uh, pure gold on CBS tonight. Well, how about you? What are you looking forward to? The show I'm looking at is Vegas also yes. because it also has Michael Chiklis who yes. was just brilliant in The Shield, which was an oh, FX yeah. show. Mm -hmm. And I think he'll do quite well in this one. Yeah. I mean, he and Dennis Quaid, they're going to have numerous yeah. scenes together. Sorry. And the chemistry will just work well between them. I, I look for it to be a hit. Sarah Jones is in that too, and she was in Alcatraz, which I thought was a terrific show on Fox last season, which did not get renewed. So she'll add uh, something to the cast also. Yes. And, and Jason O'Mara, who was in uh, Terra Nova last year, is also in the show. So it's got an all star cast. Yes. So it really, if there's any show that should be a yes. huge hit, that's the one. And but, Tuesday night, yeah. that lead in, you can't argue yeah, with that. Yeah. But there's another show on CBS you're keeping an eye on. The other show that I'm looking at also is Elementary. Mm -hmm. It's more of a contemporary take on Sherlock Holmes mm -hmm. and uh, Watson. And it has uh, Lucy Liu is playing Watson and uh, Johnny Lee Miller okay. in the lead as uh, Sherlock Holmes. What do you think about that? Having a woman as Watson, do you think that's going to impact the show at all? I think so. I think it'll draw a fem more, much more uh, female audience and they'll be more attracted. And Lucy Liu also has a good track record herself, yes. not just also on TV, but movies as well with the Charlie's Angels franchise. And Allie McBeal. And Allie McBeal, that's mm -hmm. right. So we've got a lot of star power, definitely. Yeah, definitely. But we've also got some shows that are returning this year. Obviously, we want to talk about the big moves that are going on. Let's break it down for you because there's a lot of new developments this year. The big movers are The Voice. It's moving to the fall for the first time. Two and, and a half men. it did really well last night, by the way. It yeah. did. I mean, it yeah. kicked last night. And it's it's doing a lot better than X Factor, too, from what Very I understand. Well. So that's yeah. going to be an interesting I mean, that, thing That's to watch. NBC's brightest light right now. Yeah. yeah. Hitting the high notes, yeah. so to speak. <laughs> there you go. And it's about singers. Perfect. <laughs> well, then Two and a Half Men, it's actually moving over to Thursdays. It's joining Big Bang Theory now. And then The Mentalist is moving to Sunday. And of course, this week, we talked about Ducky already, because I got to know, we're resolving all the cliffhangers that are coming from last season. So what show are you looking most forward to seeing that cliffhanger that we were left with in the spring being resolved now? Will? Uh, the show is Two, and, uh, two Broke Girls, yeah. which uh, had its season premiere last <laughs> night. And we finally got to find out who Caroline's father is. Oh. He's played by Stephen Weber. Who there he is. He's the oh, star really? the, in the long-running series Wings, yes. which aired on NBC back in the early 90s. Yeah. And he's real charming. He's charismatic. And I think he's got Max uh, under his spell. So okay. watch for some sparks to fly this season with those two. Okay, so I mean obviously we've, we've talked a lot of, about the CBS shows returning. We obviously talk about all the shows though. In this, we <laughs> so, love all so let of me them. say I'm looking forward to Arrow. Okay. Uh, at least the first episode. You know the way things go now, three episodes off for a month, two yeah. episodes off for a month, three episodes. But uh, as a little boy, my favorite hero was Green Arrow. My mom made me a Halloween costume for him when I was like seven or eight years yep. old. So <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the show. Uh, I'm not real happy that they're calling it Arrow instead of Green Arrow, but to me, he's <laughs> always Green Arrow. <laughs> and that's on the CW. See, we, right. we do like all the shows Wednesday here. Wednesday, we do. I believe, <laughs> premieres October 10th. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us, thank and hopefully you. you'll be back to talk about some more of the fall shows. And stay with us, because we're going to have your Panda winner in just a minute.